December 26, 2024 A massive aircraft appears over Chengdu, China. No announcement, no warning. Just a tailless, three-engine beast slicing through the sky. Within hours, defense analysts across the Pentagon are scrambling. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's the J-36, a sixth-generation monster that China wasn't supposed to have for another decade. While America's next-gen fighter sits on the drawing board, Beijing just put theirs in the air. The race for air supremacy just took a shocking turn, and what you're about to discover will change everything you thought you knew about the future of aerial warfare. You see, for decades, the United States has owned the skies. From the F-15 Eagle to the F-22 Raptor, American air power has been untouchable. But that dominance is being challenged in ways most people don't realize. And it's not happening slowly. It's happening right now, faster than anyone predicted, with an aircraft that's rewriting the rules of modern combat. Welcome to Jet Insight. Today, we're breaking down the Chinese J-36, an aircraft so advanced that it's forcing the Pentagon to completely rethink America's air strategy. If you think American innovation can overcome any challenge, type PROUD in the comments below. Let's go back to that December day. Aviation enthusiasts in Chengdu are going about their normal routines when suddenly social media explodes. Videos start appearing. A massive aircraft, unlike anything seen before, is conducting test flights over the city. The shape is unmistakable. A flying wing designed with no tail, three engines, and a profile that screams stealth. What makes this moment so significant? China had been working on this project in complete secrecy. No leaks. No satellite photos of prototypes. Nothing. Western intelligence knew China was developing next-generation fighters, sure. But estimates put first flights around 2028 or later. Beijing just jumped ahead by four years. The aircraft bears the number 36011 on its fuselage. Following Chinese naming conventions, this means it's the J-36. And it's being escorted by a J-20S, China's current fifth-generation stealth fighter. Think about that for a second. While the J-20 took years of public development, with countless photos and speculation, the J-36 appeared fully formed, already flying, already testing. Here's what really caught everyone off guard. That same exact day, December 26, another aircraft appeared. A second, sixth generation design from a different manufacturer, the Shenyang J-50. China didn't just reveal one next generation fighter, they revealed two on the same day. That's not a coincidence, that's a message. The J-36 isn't some concept aircraft or technology demonstrator. Within months, a second prototype appeared with major design changes. We're talking about modifications that normally take years, new engine intakes, redesigned landing gear, different exhaust nozzles. This is active, rapid development happening at a pace that's frankly unprecedented in modern fighter programs. By March 2025, the J-36 was conducting its third test flight. By April, close-up footage showed the aircraft flying low over highways near Chengdu. These weren't carefully controlled reveals. Chinese authorities were letting people see this aircraft, almost as if they wanted the world to know what they'd accomplished. The Design Philosophy Now, let's talk about what makes the J-36 so different. This aircraft is huge. We're talking about 23 meters long with a 19-meter wingspan. For comparison, that's approaching the size of a light bomber. The wing area alone is roughly 200 square meters. This isn't a nimble dogfighter. It's a strategic powerhouse. The tailless flying wing design serves multiple purposes. First, stealth. Every surface that sticks up is a radar reflector. By eliminating the tail, China has created an aircraft with an incredibly low radar cross-section from every angle. This isn't just about frontal stealth like older designs. The J-36 is built to be invisible from above, below, and behind. But here's where it gets really interesting. Most fighters use two engines. The J-36 has three. Two intakes sit under the wings on either side of the fuselage. The third intake is mounted on top behind the cockpit. This configuration does something clever. It provides massive thrust while maintaining that low radar profile. Three engines mean more power, more range, and redundancy. If one fails, the aircraft can still fight and make it home. The second prototype revealed something even more significant. 
China switched from the original recessed exhaust nozzles to F-22 style two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles. That's a huge deal. Thrust vectoring gives the aircraft incredible maneuverability, especially at high altitudes, where traditional control surfaces become less effective. But it also suggests China is prioritizing fighter capabilities over pure stealth. They're willing to trade a small amount of radar signature for combat performance. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. The Capability Assessment Let's break down what this aircraft can actually do. Defense analysts estimate the J-36 can reach speeds of Mach 2.5. That's two and a half times the speed of sound. The combat radius is projected at 3,000 kilometers. That's the distance from mainland China to Guam and back without refueling. Think about the strategic implications. China can strike deep into the Pacific, contest airspace over the South China Sea, and do it all while remaining undetected. The weapon's capacity is equally impressive. The main internal weapons bay measures 7.6 meters. That's large enough to carry long-range strike missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and potentially even hypersonic weapons. Side bays can accommodate additional missiles like the PL-17, which has a range of 300 kilometers, or the YJ-12 anti-ship missile capable of Mach 3 speeds. But weapons are only part of the equation. The J-36 is being designed to control drone swarms. This is a core feature of sixth-generation fighters. The aircraft can coordinate with unmanned combat drones, using them as forward sensors, decoys, or even weapons platforms. One manned J-36 could theoretically control dozens of drones, multiplying its combat effectiveness exponentially. Recent footage showed the J-36 flying in formation with a two-seat J-20S. That's not random. The J-20S is designed for multi-role missions where one pilot flies while the other manages sensors, weapons, and potentially drone operations. This formation flight suggests China is already testing integration concepts between 5th and 6th generation platforms. The aircraft also appears designed for extended operations at high altitude. The blended fuselage and delta wing configuration provide enormous internal fuel capacity. That means the J-36 can loiter over contested areas for extended periods, maintaining air superiority and coordinating with other assets. Now here's something that should concern American planners. The landing gear on the second prototype was completely redesigned from tandem wheels to a side-by-side -side configuration. Why does that matter? It suggests the aircraft could be adapted for carrier operations. If China can deploy sixth-generation fighters from aircraft carriers, they can project power far beyond their coastline. That fundamentally changes the balance in the Pacific. The speed advantage. Let's address the elephant in the room. How did China do this so fast? Western fighter development typically takes decades. The F-22 program started in the 1980s and didn't reach operational status until 2005. The F-35 has been in development since the 1990s and is still being refined today. China is operating on a completely different timeline. The first J-36 prototype appeared in December 2024. By October 2025, a second prototype with major design changes was already flying. That's less than a year between iterations. Changes that would normally take three to five years are happening in months. Part of the speed comes from manufacturing capability. China has five production lines for the J-20 fighter. They can produce a new aircraft every eight days. That's not a typo. Every eight days. By comparison, the United States produces roughly 140 F-35s per year across all variants. China is building faster, and they're applying those same industrial capabilities to the J-36 program. But there's another factor at play. China isn't starting from scratch. They've been studying American fifth-generation fighters for years. They understand the principles of stealth, sensor fusion, and network-centric warfare. The J-36 isn't revolutionary in concept. It's evolutionary taking proven technologies and pushing them forward. The Chinese approach also differs philosophically. American programs often aim for perfection. Every system must be cutting edge. Every requirement must be met before production begins. China appears to be using a good enough approach. Get a capable aircraft flying, then iterate and improve through successive prototypes. It's faster, more flexible, and arguably more effective in the long run. This development speed has real strategic implications. 
while America debates the cost and requirements of its next-generation air dominance program, China is flight-testing actual hardware. The US has flown experimental X-planes in secret since 2019, but no actual fighter prototype has appeared. Meanwhile, China just revealed not one, but two sixth-generation designs, both actively flying. The American response. So where does this leave the United States? The Pentagon's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, now designated the F-47, aims for initial deployment around 2029. That's four years away. But there is a catch. The estimated cost per aircraft is around $250 million. For context, that's more expensive than the B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber. At those prices, the Air Force is looking at buying maybe 185 aircraft total. Compare that to China's approach. Early estimates put the J-36 cost between $150 million and $200 million per unit. And with China's production capacity, they could potentially build them in large numbers. This creates a dangerous scenario. Even if the F-47 is technically superior, if China can field three J-36 for every two F-47s, numbers start to matter. The United States isn't sitting still, though. The F-22 Raptor is undergoing comprehensive upgrades to keep it viable through the 2030s. New missiles, improved electronic warfare systems, enhanced sensors, and better radar. The F-35 is getting what Lockheed Martin calls the NASCAR upgrade, integrating technologies from their NGAD bid to deliver 80% of sixth generation capabilities at half the cost. But here's the hard truth. Upgrading fifth generation fighters isn't the same as fielding true sixth generation aircraft. The J-36 was built from the ground up with next-generation warfare in mind. It's designed to operate in highly contested electromagnetic environments, control drone swarms, and employ directed energy weapons. You can't retrofit those capabilities into older airframes without significant compromises. Our military veterans and aviation enthusiasts understand this challenge better than most. The men and women who've served know that air superiority isn't just about having the best technology. It's about having enough of it in the right places, at the right time. And right now, China is moving faster than anticipated. American innovation has overcome challenges before. During World War II, we went from biplanes to jet engines in less than a decade. During the Cold War, we developed the F-15 Eagle in response to Soviet threats, creating an aircraft so dominant it's never been defeated in air-to-air -air combat. That same spirit of innovation is what we need now. What this means for the future, Let's be clear about something important. The J-36 hasn't been tested in combat. We don't know its true capabilities, its weaknesses, or how it would perform against American systems. What we do know is that it represents a significant leap forward for Chinese military aviation. The aircraft demonstrates that China can develop, build, and test advanced combat systems at speeds comparable to or exceeding Western programs. That's a strategic shift. For decades, the assumption was that America would always maintain a technological edge, even if other nations could eventually catch up. The J-36 suggests that edge is narrowing faster than many expected. This has implications beyond just air combat. Modern warfare is about integrated systems. Air superiority enables everything else. It protects ground forces, secures sea lanes, and allows precision strikes deep into enemy territory. If China can contest American air superiority in the Pacific, it changes the entire strategic calculus. The appearance of the J-36 is also driving changes in allied nations. Japan, South Korea, and Australia are all accelerating their own fighter programs and defense partnerships with the United States. The UK, Italy, and Japan are collaborating on their own sixth-generation fighter called Tempest. These programs were planned anyway, but the J-36 has added urgency. For everyday Americans, this matters because air superiority keeps conflicts away from our shores. It's the shield that allows our military to project power globally and protect our interests. When that shield is challenged, when a potential adversary fields systems that can contest our dominance, it requires a response. The good news, American aerospace and defense companies are second to none. They've delivered game-changing systems for generations. The F-117 Nighthawk pioneered stealth. The F-22 Raptor set the standard for fifth-generation fighters. The B-2 Spirit and now the B-21 Raider represent the cutting edge of bomber technology. That expertise doesn't disappear overnight. Conclusion The Chinese J-36 represents a wake-up call. 
not a defeat. It shows that China is a serious competitor in advanced military technology, developing systems faster and more secretly than Western intelligence anticipated. But history shows that American innovation thrives under pressure. The greatest leaps in aviation technology came when we faced determined adversaries pushing the boundaries. The race for sixth-generation air superiority is just beginning. China may have shown their cards first, but the United States has a history of responding with systems that don't just match the competition, they exceed it. The men and women of our armed forces, the engineers at companies like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Boeing, and the support of the American people have overcome every challenge thrown our way. This isn't about fear, it's about awareness. It's about understanding that maintaining air superiority requires constant innovation, adequate funding, and the will to stay ahead. The J-36 is impressive, but it's not invincible. And if history teaches us anything, it's that betting against American aerospace innovation is a losing proposition. If you found this analysis valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight for more in-depth coverage of military aviation and defense technology. The sky isn't falling, but the competition is rising and we'll be here to cover every development. Thanks for watching.